normally when I'm doing stuff like that, uh, work like that, I would have my AirPods in, but they were upstairs on my nightstand. And I didn't feel like going to get them. Because um, typically, typically I would listen to Audible when doing stuff like that. But when I don't, then I start thinking. And then my brain's just going a million miles a minute. And then I create this really far stretch of a narrative here. Because I'm doing the job, right? Yeah. With a shovel. Yeah. You know? It's a tool. It accomplishes the task. It gets the job done. Is it the right tool? Yeah, sort of. Like, you know, it'll get the job done, but it's but it's not there's a better tool for the job. Sometimes the right tool is okay, but there's a better tool for it. So then that better tool becomes the right tool. Right? Yeah. So I was thinking about like how this applies to our life. We've done videos in the past, old videos on communication apps and devices. Um, and, you know, we kind of eventually landed on on the right tool, you know. And, and we didn't want to spend money on an, on an app that may never even get used. Like, that was definitely a thing that we, you know, like, we're going to spend 50 bucks on this app and 50 bucks on that. Well, fortunately, you know, we found one that that works really well for Abigail with communication. Um, you know, the, the seatbelt thing. Here's the thing. I'm having to monitor back here and make sure our seatbelt doesn't get unclipped because we didn't bring the right tool. It's not in the car. Uh, we did order more though. They're sitting on the counter. We sent them in the car when we left. We have enough seatbelt clips for everybody, including the golf cart in summer. And Isaiah has one in his car because he, he left with it, so we ordered more. Becca but, has one just in case, oh yeah, even though she one. doesn't get heavy anymore. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, that's the right tool for the job. Does it work for me to, you know, turn halfway around in my seat and make sure the seatbelt doesn't get on, on bu Yeah, it does, but it's really not the right tool for the job. Um, but, you know, that, so that's how I was applying all this stuff in my mind. Another funny thing is I don't talk to Priscilla about what I'm going to talk about in the <laughs> vlog before I talk, and it frustrates the heck out of her. So if you ever see her sit there when I start talking, like, about something serious, and she's like... Because she's trying to figure out where I'm going with this. Yes, That's what it is. 100%. We don't talk about things. I've gotten better last couple of times. Not this time. Well, last couple of times I'm like, hey, I wanted to talk about this. Right. And the thing is, we don't want it to be like uh, staged, you know? Yeah. You want it to be natural. And talking about it beforehand and then going back and recording it wouldn't be a natural thing. Right. So that's the other reason. Yeah. But sometimes I, I know people will make comments like, Priscilla has no idea what he's talking about. Nope, I don't. <laughs> You're right. But that's the, so yeah, so the whole, my whole thought process was like, I'm in the yard and I'm doing a job and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get the right tool for this job to get it done more efficiently to get it done better, to save time. You know, I can focus energy on other things, right? Yeah. And we were anti-medication for a while, for example. Inevitably, it ended up hurting Abigail because she wasn't getting the sleep that she needed. Uh, now, I know you guys know that we've had, you know, sleep issues and stuff like that, but that's relatively recent, like within the last couple of years. Right. Before that, she was sleeping really well uh, we just, we don't want to up her level of meds because we're still not, you know, oh, just medicate the problems away. Right. I mean, there's, adding more but chemicals either. to a chemical issue in the body right. is not always the, the answer. Well, but that's our opinion. Like, I don't want you to, you know, your opinion is yours with your child. I just, that's ours. That's how we deal with it with our kids. Well, she gets her pills at the same time every night. Sometimes they work amazing. And she sleeps through the night. Last night, she slept through the night. But then other nights she doesn't and a lot of it has to do with like we talked about last week with the moon and you know the weather things like that yeah but it also has to do with her body right and what's but it's, going on but it's still the right tool for the job it is like we could up the meds and it would be a more effect effective tool but then is it like too much of that well you know and then I mean? if we took it away completely she wouldn't sleep we've tried it yeah so <laughs> Yeah, we have tried natural alternatives as well. But yeah, so that, that was what I was thinking about while I was in the excavator was, you know, how we, over the last 15 years, have really applied ourselves to finding the best tool for the job yeah. to, uh, for, for her to find success in. Um, I think you could apl apply that. I know you could apply that to all aspects of your life, but, you know, ABA therapy. I, I am not going to sit here and say ABA therapy is for everyone because you may not find 
the right therapist, you may not find the right program, you know. Right. I mean, there's there's so many variables there that the as a human being, you that, you know, that individual may not respond as well to ABA therapy as you would some other tool. So, but for us, it's the best tool. All of these things. How would it be an Ace's brain for a day? It's a fun place. <laughs> this is my uh, deterrent. Just having a hand back here. Stops the seatbelt unclicking. Or squeezing. Girl, get out of the car. No, we're not going to. You trying to take your seatbelt off the whole time. Now you're trying to put it back on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Yes, get out of the car. Yeah, you can go to the bathroom inside. Come on, let's go. Get your shoes, please. Can you just just carry them? Get your shoes. Thank you. Here, backpack. Both arms. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot my coffee. Hold on. Don't you go through there. Don't you walk through that dirt. <sighs> that is one problem, is I have a massive dirt pile. Go ahead. All those are gone. Oh, well, they're still there. I gotta carry them out there, but they're all pulled out. And all those. Exciting stuff. So Abigail's hair is all a mess and all over the place, and um, she's like, she just went through it. Um, no, don't don't put your phone down. I, I don't want you to put your phone down. Okay. Because Priscilla's sitting here. She's got her phone out. She's just just chilling for a minute. Um, because we see we've seen some comments like criticism on <clears throat> on Priscilla's parenting, and it's been that way. It's been that way for years, to be honest. Like. They don't understand that I vlog. Like, you don't see Priscilla's point of view because she's not vlogging. Checking to see if Summer's here. She's here. The reason why the hair is all like that is because uh, there was just a full on meltdown. And, you know, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to interfere unless I'm either asked to or I need to, but. Um, Priscilla, with love and nurturing, um, helped her through it. It's it's the most loving and amazing thing you've ever seen. You know, she's getting attacked through the whole thing, and she just loved on her um, and helped her through it, and then proceeded to you know get her to empty her school bag and her lunch and all that and and that's the thing like you, you don't see it because she doesn't vlog but I cannot like I couldn't pick 
a better mom for my kids. You other parents out there, like you understand, like you know when you're when you're significant other is going through it like getting their butt handed to them um getting attacked getting you know and they show nothing but love towards that child like that's that's something else are you walking away i'm sorry i'm letting the dog down oh. <laughs> so yeah when um when i pick up the camera and walk through the house and priscilla's on her phone working that's because I just got up from my desk where I was working and picked up a camera. I don't know why that's so challenging for some people to understand. I know a lot of you get it. Like, I mean, she has to work. It's it's her job. But um, yeah. I hope my opinion matters oh, more thanks. than other people. Again, had no idea what you were going to talk about. She, <laughs> she asked me what was wrong as I was standing there just, you know. Watching her go go through that with Ab and help Ab out, and uh, Abby was having a real hard time, and I was just thinking about that, you know, I was thinking about like how how awesome you are with her, and I don't think people get to see it enough, you know, so. Thanks. <laughs> so everybody should have still some love in the comments, okay? Because she's amazing. Thank you. I love you. Can I sit here? This is, this is the this is the reality of things. You know, you gotta. We want to be as real as possible with you guys and share. You know what we feel comfortable sharing. So, but I know a lot of you can relate. What? Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Oh, girl, every day. What do you think of your new ones? Have you have you tried them? Mm -hmm. Are they cool? Or, I, know, oh. I know that you want to go all the time, but what do you think of these new ones? They were sent to you. Aren't those neat? Can you do that one? Look, go big. Big, medium, small. Go big. Let me see. Medium, I want to see. Small. Go ahead. Just summer. No. Nice stack. Okay, I like that that strategy. Look, and then these two. So many things going on today. Uh -huh. These two, these two right here. Put them on this one, there, and then all three. You pick up all three. Go on that peg. Nice. nice. I like that tactic. <laughs> See, these are the same way, but these are these are green stars. I really like how the colors are similar, but not the same. Yeah, and they connect together. That's cute. Cool? And then she got the cups too. I gotta look at the box though. I don't understand the cups. They have like shapes on them and numbers. Oh, the numbers are. Oh. These could be. So many things. So many things. So helicopter green three. Okay. Okay. But like, What's I remember like. Oh, like, and when you put him on the last one. That's cool. He celebrates for you. Oh, I like I it. Okay, so they actually stack. They were stacked like this in the box, but they actually go upside down like this. And look, if you throw them in water, you can play with the water. You see, he's like on the beach right here. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's so neat. many different things. So many things. Super cool, Em. Hey, what do we think of the new table tests? Big fan? Big fan of them? Thumbs up? I'm swinging right now. Thank you, Bridget, so very much. For those, that was very thoughtful of you. Bridget is a pre-K disabilities teacher in Florida. Thank you. I mean, come on. I'm still going to one wheel a little bit, but... Watching your boys vlog? Uh-huh. <laughs> Somebody said it's crazy that I was looking at your twenty dollar bill. Somebody said it's crazy that we have paper money. They don't have paper money. Where is that at? That they don't have paper money anymore. They don't use paper money. What? I saw the comment like in passing. I think I think they just meant like most people don't have it. I don't think it's like an actual. I think they were talking about the coins. They use coins. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe you think a little too much. 
Maybe I'm thinking too much. Maybe they're just talking about they use cards all the time. I don't, I don't know. All right, let me know if you live in a country that only uses, doesn't use paper money. Oh, with COVID, only using paper money? Or not using paper money? Hmm. That's a possibility. We don't use it much. Well, that's that was like, I had emergency money, you know? Learned that from my dad. Actually, I bought that truck from my dad, and there was emergency money in it when I got it, so... Thanks, Dad. But $12 is not enough emergency money. Keep more than $12 in emergency money. Hey, babe, you're gonna be excited. Next step, do you know what the next step is? Plants. No, not today. I mean, like, oh, okay. Let's go to the... Oh. I'm, not, I'm not, like, ready for them yet. I mean, that's, like, the next step, but... Um, tomorrow? We can look tomorrow. You want to call right now? This is an important call. She's got her she, Oh, you're talking about food with them? <laughs> what are they talking about? Are you, you going on a date? Mm -hmm. Food call there? Mm -hmm. She's like, Dad, don't be silly. I'm listening mm -hmm. to Frozen. Here, phone's for you. Mm -hmm. Phone's for you. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Hello? No, nobody there? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't we go pick up a couple plants? And Abby can get Zaxby's. Okay. Abby can get Zaxby's? Yeah. She's Jones. I mean, I'm hungry too. <laughs> I'm just saying, she's been asking for it. She's Jones and for Zaxby's. Yeah, we haven't gotten it. Okay. Did you ever call your dad and invite him for dinner? No, I gotta call him and invite him for dinner. Sorry, I forgot. He was gonna bring the uh, excavator back for me with the heavy Chevy, but I was like, don't worry about it. Because he had to go pick up his camper for the third time. Sometimes things can make you upset, and then I think like a, a tactic that Priscilla and I have is not to linger on those things, to try to move on from those things. And you know, like earlier, we're upset, and then all of a sudden we're like, "Haha, yay, plants!" You know, focus on the things that make you happy and and bring positivity. I think we could all do more of that. Um, plants apparently make Priscilla happy, so they make me happy too. Don't plants make everybody happy? That's an actual thing. I think y'all learned that from Abby. That we've learned that from Abby? Mm -hmm. As far as... Dwelling? Dwell oh, yeah. She, it happens and then she's... She's over it. Until the next spell, but it's not like she... You know what I mean? Yeah. I just thought of that when you said that. Mm. It's a good thought. <laughs> Thanks. Don't dwell on things, you know? It's not worth it. Doesn't, it doesn't help. It doesn't help the situation. So, and sometimes getting things off your chest, you know? Like me talking about how awesome of a mom my wife is. That helps too. Okay, plants. Okay, we have a plan. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm gonna call you Blister. Show up when the work's done. Yeah, well I don't see how you work very hard. That thing's got a hell of a bucket on it. It's got like a 12 inch bucket. It wasn't hard. It was a little time consuming, just moving just the had, thing around. Anyway, you wouldn't have let me. Without falling in the pool. You wouldn't have let me touch. It would have been like a new bicycle for you. Nobody gets to ride it. No, you, man, that's a rental. You can do, do it what you want. <laughs> I got, I got a insurance on it. <laughs> <laughs>